Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to today's service. Let's bow our heads for a word of prayer. Dear everlasting Father, we come before you. Thank you for this day. Thank you for the gift of life, and thank you for the gift of salvation. I pray that you'll help us to learn something as we go through the lesson. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's welcome the praise and worship team. Like him, the lion and the lamb, seated on the throne. Mountains bow down, every ocean roars to the Lord of Hosts. Praise at all night, from the rising of the sun to the end of every day. Saints sing praise Who is like him The lion and the lamb Seated on the throne Mountains bow down Every ocean roars To the Lord of hosts Praise at a Sin runs deep. You. 
Your grace is more Grace is found Is where you are Where you are Lord, I am free Holy name Is Christ in me the Lord and good morning. I want to take this opportunity to welcome you all to today's Sunday lesson. Welcome everyone who is watching and everyone who is listening, listening to us uh, from any media. Uh, today we are very excited to be here with you and we are following a very exciting series about the names of God. Um, I'm not alone today. With me today we have Aida from Sutam Thika Road. And Luca from Sutam Gom. Thank you very much, Aida and uh, Luca, for joining me in this lesson. Guys at home, I uh, want you to sit, take your uh, notebooks and your pens, you sit and invite anyone who might be around you so that we can follow this lesson together. Guys, last week's lesson was very exciting. Yes, we started in the new series of Knowing God's Names where we learned that Yahweh or Jehovah is God's personal name through which he reveals himself through mighty acts. Wow, Yahweh or Jehovah is God's personal name. That was very exciting to learn and he reveals himself through um, his mighty acts, yes. And the memory verse was from Exodus chapter 3 verse 14 and it said, I am who I am. This is what you have to say to the Israelites. I am has sent me to you. Thank you for even the memory verse. Guys at home, can you remember uh, anything that we learned about uh, when we are learning about Yahweh? Would you share the memory verse with someone who is near you? Thank you very much. Now, um, today we are going to start, uh, we are still doing the series on the names of God. And today we are going to look at Adonai. Our main lesson aim today is to know the meaning of Adonai, also to appreciate our relationship with Adonai, and also to commit to uh, obey Adonai, our Lord and Master. Guys, let me ask you, in case the president was supposed to come to your place today, what would happen? Aida? Um, I think that if the president was to come to our home today, that he'll be treated as a very special guest, like as a guest of honor. Wow, you will be treated like a guest of honor. What do you think would happen, Luca? I think you will be treated like a very important person. Like a very important person. Why do you think you will be treated like a very important person? Because he's a powerful man in Kenya. He is a powerful man in Kenya. Do you think there is any other human being in Kenya who is more powerful than the president? 
Among human beings, I don't think so. Among human beings, you don't think so. Guys at home, if the president was supposed to visit your home today, what do you think would happen? And why do you think you'd treat him the way you would treat him? Share with someone who is close to you. Now, today we are, going to lo we are going to learn about someone who is more powerful, who is the real master and who is the real God. And to learn about this, we have to know the meaning of Adonai. Who is Adonai? Adonai means Lord and Master. Adonai means Lord and Master. Actually, it's more than Lord and Master. It depicts a relationship between us and Him. Uh, our Lord it refers to someone who is so superior, who is the master, and who is the owner. So when we are learning about Adonai, we are even going to see the relationship we ought to have between us and him. Yes, Aida? Uh, the Lordship of God means my total submission to him and his total position of me as Lord and Savior. Very good. So as, 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 you, as you submit to him, your total submission to him, I, he possesses you. He becomes Lord and Savior of your life, isn't it? Very, very wonderful. But even more than that, Adonai means someone who is more supreme. Who is more supreme. Now, when we look at the Bible, when we are reading the Bible, and you see the name Lord, that's L-O-R-D, written in capital letters, that one means the name Adonai. It means the name Adonai. And let us go to the Bible text now and see uh, who this Adonai is. And to help us, we are going to read the Bible text going to come from the book of Exodus chapter 6 from verse 1 to 8. Exodus chapter 6 from verse 1 to 8. Guys, guys at home, I hope you have your Bibles ready. Open uh, Exodus chapter 6 from verse 1 to 8. Ida is going to help us read from verse 1 to 4. Then Luca is going to pick it from verse 5 to 8. If we are ready, we can start. Exodus chapter 6 verse 1 to 4. Then the Lord said to Moses, Now you will see what I will do to Pharaoh. Because of my mighty hand, he will let them go. Because of my mighty hand, he will drive them out of his country. God also said to Moses, I am the Lord. I appeared to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob as God Almighty. But by my name, the Lord, I did not make myself known to them. I also established my covenant to them to give them the land of Canaan, where they lived as aliens. Moreover, I have heard the groaning of the Israelites, whom the Egyptians are enslaving, and I have remembered my covenant. Therefore, say to the Israelites, I am the Lord, and I will bring you out from under the yoke of the Egyptians. I will free you from being slaves to them, and I will redeem you with an outstretched arm and with mighty acts of judgment. I will take you as my own people, and I will be your God. Then you will know that I am the Lord your God, who brought you out from under the yoke of the Egyptians and will bring you to the land I saw with uplifted hand to give to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob. I will give it to you as a possession. I am the Lord. I am the Lord. Thank you for the wonderful reading, um, Ida and Luca. And I hope, guys at home, you are following that text from uh, the book of um, Exodus chapter 6 from verse 1 to 8, and we've read together. Now, I want you to, um, what description would you give to this Lord and Adonai? Would you share with someone who is close to you? How would you, from the text that we've read from the book of Exodus chapter 6, how would you describe Adonai? Now, guys, we've read this text from the book of Exodus chapter 6 from verse 1 to 8. How would we uh, uh, describe Adonai? Uh, we can describe Adonai as almighty and powerful. Through his mighty hand, he delivered the people of Israel out of Egypt. Thank you. From the uh, ruler, the, the, uh, the ruler, that's an uh, evil ruler who is the Pharaoh. He delivered them with his mighty power. So we can say that he's almighty and all powerful. Yes. We can also describe him as a deliverer. He's the one who saves us from being servants to evil masters. Thank you, thank you. He's a deliverer. I can also 
uh, described him as a covenant keeper because he kept his co uh, he established his co covenant with uh, Abraham and fulfilled it to his descendants. So God, our Lord Adonai, is a covenant keeper. Yes. How else can you describe him? We can describe him as wonderful master. That means our he 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 keeps us as his own and we and he reveals himself to us very good he, he, he receives us as his own and in receiving us as his own he establishes a permanent relationship between us and him because we, we are his he is our lord he is our adonai and we can also say that he is a rewarder of those who are faithful unto him now what does this mean to us it means, as I had said before, that uh, this means that God's total possession of us, us who are his, his total possession of us, and us we are supposed to respond to him by submitting to his lordship. So uh, we give him, we give him all our submission as lord, as ma and master of our lives, and uh, uh, we also uh, see that in this relationship that we have with Adonai. If we don't uh, keep to what he wants, those who are not obedient unto him, he punishes. For example, we can see in the book of Exodus um, that um, when we read the Bible, that he gave uh, Pharaoh different forms of punishments because he was not heeding to the, uh, what God had commanded, that he let his people go. So him as God, he delivered them with a mighty hand. And uh, during that time, he gave several punishments so that Pharaoh would heed to his voice and let the people of Israel go. So sometimes if we don't heed to the voice of Adonai, he can also he can punish those who don't uh, heed to his voice. Now, how should we respond to our Lord Adonai, even you who is at home? Now that we've described him in all those that the description, how should we respond to our Lord Adonai and our Master? Yes, Aida. Uh, we should respond to Adonai in obedience. We should respond to Adonai in obedience. It means that if we truly understand who he is and what he says, then our actions, uh, how we act, should we, our actions should show the obedience to Adonai, yes. We can also serve our Lord and Master, mm -hmm. therefore as we serve others, we are serving God. Wow, in service we can also serve Adonai, our Lord and Master. And as we serve one another, we know that we are, we are serving God. In conclusion guys, we have learned that Adonai is our Lord and Master. He is a good Master. He is loving, he is caring, he is compassionate and also gracious. He keeps his promises and always delivers us from sin and from evil masters. And we can submit to him through obedience and through service. And when we love and serve others, we are serving God. Now, we can do or we cannot do all these things if we've not mended our relationship with our Lord Adonai and Master. And uh, we need to have a perfect relationship between us and Him. Perhaps you are outside there and you're asking yourself, how will I submit to the Lordship of this Adonai? And you're wondering where to start from. I want to invite you, if you are out there and you want to give your life to Christ, kindly uh, repeat this prayer after me. And let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, I come to you this morning with a thankful heart for your saving grace. Thank you, Jehovah Lord, for saving uh, me from all my sins and forgiving me all my wrongdoings. Today, I'm glad to give my life unto you. May you write my name in your book of life. I confess today that you are the Lord and the Savior of my life. Help me to walk right and walk in you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Guys, if any of you has said that prayer and you believe in your hearts and you've confessed with your mouth that Christ 
Jesus Christ is the Lord, now you are born again. You need to give that testimony to someone who is uh, near you. And when you go to your Sunday school, when you meet your pastor or your Sunday school teacher, please share this testimony with them. The angels in heaven are really rejoicing because now there's someone who has come to the family of God. I would also request Luca to pray for us even as we come to the end. Let's bow our head for a word of prayer. Thank you, Lord, for giving us this day. Thank you for giving us the gift of life. I also thank you for giving us the opportunity to share a word. We pray that, that the people who are watching us today may acknowledge you as Adonai and they, they may serve others for their serving you. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. 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 Thank you, Luca, for that wonderful prayer. We cannot end this, uh, this service without having our memory verse. And our memory verse today is going to come from the book of Psalm, chapter 9, verse 10. And to help us with the memory verse is Ida. Ida, would you help us with the memory verse? Psalm, chapter 9, verse 10. Those who know you, trust in your name. For you, O Lord, do not abandon those who come to you, who search for you, sorry. Wonderful. Those who know your name, trust in you. For you, O Lord, do not abandon those who search for you. Guys, that's our memory verse for the week. Make sure you memorize it. It's coming from the book of Psalm, chapter 9, verse 10. Uh, memorize it with your friends, memorize it with your family, memorize it and you can record it, even share it. Uh, it's our memory, work, uh, mem memory verse of the week. Don't also forget to do your journals this week. Uh, make sure you complete your journals every day. Uh, there is a portion that you'll be expected to fill in this coming week. We don't have much. We want just to appreciate you and pray that may God keep you and uh, uh, protect you wherever you are. As from this side, we just want to say thank you for sitting still and following this broadcast. Otherwise, don't have much to say. From here in the studio, we just say bye. bye.